All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Thank you all for joining us today. We have really great attendance today. Uh, my name is Peter Stoll. I'm a product manager of FastScout here at Fast Model Sports. I'm really pleased to be joined by Billy Peters and Account Executive Synergy. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating the, the powerful integrated workflows that we've developed between Synergy and FastScout over the past year. Um, just as we get off the bat here, we've had tons of usage of this already over the course of the last season. We'll be adding more and more to it going forward, which will kind of give you guys some sneak previews up today. We've had over 200,000 Synergy clips added into FastCode over the course of the last year. So it's been a, a really successful integration. We're kind of excited to show you guys the next steps of it, all, all the great updates that Synergy has been making in their Max Editor and the updates we've been making here in FastCode. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Billy here in a sec. We will uh, answer questions as we go along. We, again, have great attendance. So we expect a decent amount of questions to come in. We'll do our best to, to answer everything. Um, if we don't get to your question, we're writing them all down and we'll reach out to any, any of our customers here individually, make sure to get anything answered for you. Uh, but again, thank you all for joining us and go ahead, Billy. Thanks, Peter. Uh, like you said, this is uh, Billy with Synergy Sports. I am one of our account executives over here at Synergy. Um, I've actually had the opportunity to speak with some of you already um, with the teams that I work with directly and even show the Max Editor to a few, but ju just wanted to take a few minutes here um, and just kind of cover a few of the high level portions of our Max Editor and just allow for you to see you know, how this has um, really become a, a cost effective solution. Uh, to Teams editor needs, and then as well as show you sort of how the workflow um, here will integrate into your uh, FastScout program. So um, I am going to share my screen here, Peter, if you can just confirm that you got me here. Can you yep. see the screen all right, Peter? Looks great, yep. Okay, perfect. So. What I did here is we're just going to kind of work today with the idea of, of, you know, throughout the Max Editor and into our Fast Scout program, we're going to work with the idea of preparing for an upcoming game against Villanova. So what I've done is I've actually pulled three games from the Synergy website, the Synergy full game video, into my Synergy Max Editor. So down at the bottom, you'll see the three different games have loaded up. Um, so right off the bat, I'm kind of saving time versus having to download the games, import, encode them into any other editing system. I've just directly pulled those games from the Synergy website into the Synergy Max Editor. So you see those three games loaded at the bottom. And you also see the Synergy Max Editor timeline view. Um, so any of these individual clips, you also see the basic box score stats and Synergy's already broken down for you. Um, and those are available um, just to watch or as we'll get into kind of creating direct uh, one-click edits from any of these, these rows that we have here. So what I'm gonna do is up on the top right, I've already pre-set up my, my Villanova Scout. We'll open that up and you'll see the basic playlist view, which most of you are probably already used to seeing. It's kind of our, our um, view that's been with us for years. What's new with the Max Editor is the new sequencer view. And you'll see a lot cleaner way, a lot more efficient way to um, create your custom edit um, and manipulate the clips to different folders here within the Villanova Scout um, as we see fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna begin the video down here and we'll start watching the clip of this game. So any of these individual clips that I wanna put into one of these folders that I've set up for our Villanova Scout, I can just simply drag and drop those in here and add it into our special situations folder. Also, just to show you how easy it is to create these folders, I'm just gonna create a eighth folder within this Scout. We'll call this one series. And then here's our eighth folder. And I can, I'm just going to move that up so it's within our team oriented. So we have the three kind of team oriented versions of our scout or folders here, and also the five individual player ones. Okay. So I can jump through any of these three different games and pull these clips um, individually. Also, I can take any of these entire rows and watch any particular one or put it into our edit as well. So, for example, if I wanted to look at every offensive rebound that Villanova got during the Seton Hall game, I can double click on this row and play all seven of those or drag and drop this entire row and put that folder within this scout. So I can either overall just keep it in there or potentially use these seven offensive rebounds to determine um, what other folders I might want to move them to um, before we show this scout. Okay. So again, going through all three of those games, kind of looking at it more of a, a team level um, type scout. If you want to start, you know, 
diving a little deeper into the individual player aspect of these three games to fill out our uh, player scouts that we've created here, or excuse me, player folders. Um, I can switch this down here. We're currently looking at the timeline view of all three of these games. I wanna look at our new matrix view here within the Synergy Max editor. Okay, so this will allow me to dive a little deeper into any individual player uh, clips that we might have for any of these three games. So for example, I might wanna pull all nine ball screens that Gillespie was in. So instead of having to go navigate to the Synergy website and pulling over different sets of clips by sending over the full game, switching it to our matrix view, I can simply just go to this location, take all nine of these and drop it in. I can rename this grouping if I want, or again, I can start manipulating these clips to move which ones we actually wanna show in our scout into our Gillespie uh, folder that's already created. Okay, and I'm just gonna pause there. I see a few questions. So I'm just gonna try to answer some of these here. So. Uh, with the max editor, the, the, this will carry over with the base editor as well. Um, so answer that question, whether it's the base editor or max editor, um, any of these clips or custom edits would transfer over to your fast scout uh, program. Um, how do stats get put into who codes the clips? Uh, the, these, are, these are the clips that are done by the Synergy um, loggers. So your typical clips that are already available on the Synergy website. Um, Synergy is coding it. It's just, it's essentially the Synergy full game, except you're able to now, instead of having to find those separately on the Synergy website, it's, it's available by just sending over the full game and switching this to our matrix view versus just looking at the full timeline view. Okay. The sequencer and matrix view are both currently available, or excuse me, I'm sorry, the sequencer view is available now. The matrix view will be available within the max editor uh, probably within the next month. That's a good question. The matrix view is still within the beta version, uh, but that will be available um, here, I would guess the next three to four weeks. Good questions. Okay, so just kind of looking back at the matrix view from the Synergy full game. Um, currently, on the, we're on the play types for our players. We could get an overall look at any of these individual players. So if I wanted to just keep this as the default row column, this would allow me to see every single play type, or not every single play type, but every play type where uh, Colin Gillespie was the um, kind of the, the, the possession any event holder. So he would have been the one who took the shot turned it over or was fouled and that resulted in free throw. So here's all 29 of Collins clips from this game. And again, I can take that entire row, drop it into our edit so that I can move those um, as I see fit into our actual Gillespie folder. And to clean it up, you can actually quickly remove sort of these workbook um, folders that we've been utilizing here. Same with our offensive rebounding. All right, so that's kind of creating an edit using our um, the full game timeline and also our new matrix view. Uh, what I want to touch on real quick is just with the max editor and how our new frictionless capture process works. Um, currently, anyone who's doing using the max editor or base editor and they're doing uh, live capture and utilizing what's called our Elgato game capture box, that'll still be supported by Synergy moving forward. Uh, but we're highly recommending in trying to get most teams to move to our uh, to the Aja box capture device, spelled A-J-A, -A, Aja device. Um, and the reason, reason for that is just um, overall performance reasons, as well as the ability to use our frictionless capture process. So right here within our source edits, I'm going to come up to the new frictionless capture button. And when I click on that, instead of having to run everything through the Elgato game capture software, which is the way it's been done in the past, getting the video to play through there, and then it comes into the editor. Instead, with the Aja box, you have your camera capturing your practice or your game. That is connected into your Aja device, and that Aja device can be read directly from this source here within your editor. Now, currently, I don't have an Aja box connected. I'm just gonna utilize my webcam just to kind of, um, to show you how that process works. So if I click on this, select OK, should see our tagging or our coding window will open up in a second. 
and then utilizing my webcam, you'll see the live footage um, that I have pulling in here. Okay, so I can, I'm just going to be clicking these buttons here within my coding or my tagging window. I could set hotkeys up um, as well um, to utilize and code our own footage here. So you can see this capture is, is picking up my footage. We're at 20 seconds currently, 24. And what I want to start doing is maybe coding or tagging what we're actually having on the film. So whether it's practice or a game, we could start using these, these, these uh, codes or these tags um, to set up our new timeline here. Okay. Just do a couple more. And I will stop the capture there. So it's building out, as you can see, just like our Synergy full game that the, the Synergy loggers had done for you, except we're making this more specific to whatever we want to code or tag during practice um, or during a game. So we can also use our matrix view for this as well. So currently it's just building out the normal timeline. If I switch this to our matrix view, we have the same look um, that we have with the Synergy full game, except it's specific to whatever we've captured locally. Okay. So before I pass it over to Peter and I'll kind of knock out some more of these questions as well. I just wanted to show the last thing would be kind of the ease of being able to share clips using the Synergy Max Editor. Um, the first way would be just via Synergy. Um, so if I go back to our Villanova Scout that we've built out, and maybe uh, whether it's myself implementing it into our Fast Scout program, or maybe it's another person on staff's responsibility to set that portion of our workflow up. Um, I can log in, which Peter will touch on um, with the Fast Scout program, or if I send this via Synergy to anyone else on my staff, that person can not only view and manipulate or edit anything within their Synergy Max Editor, but additionally, they can um, import that into their Fast Scout program, um, which Peter will touch on here in just a minute. Okay, so before I pass it back over to you, Peter, let me look at some of these questions here. Um, can I tag my own plays and see them in the matrix view? Correct. Yes, you can do that just with that last process. Uh, we utilized using my own, I set this up um, before we got on here. So this is kind of my personal coding or tagging window. You can set this up. Synergy has some kind of blank templates that we can share with folks that, that want to just utilize what we have and kind of make it um, more unique to your play calls or your players. Um, so feel free to reach out to your rep for anything like that. Um, will there be a support page on the website on how to capture using the Aja box? Yes, we'll actually have a PDF we actually might already have one. Um, I don't think we've sent it out just because of the, um, the that new frictionless portion being um, still in the beta version like the um, like the matrix was as well. Um, but we will definitely have something um, on how to purchase and how to utilize the Azure box. Can we upload live practice through the base editor as well or is it just for Max? You can upload and import or capture live or import your, your practice with the base editor. Um, you wouldn't have the ability to use the matrix view, um, the timeline or the sequencer view. Um, so those would be limitations utilizing just the base editor for that um, portion of it. Um, is this app online off? Yeah, you can utilize either one. So um, you can capture and share video online or offline. And just to show you the ease and kind of one of the newer features of being able to share and edit that you've captured or that you've broken out from Synergy's website. Let's say you're on the road, you need to get something to coach before you get to the airport or to the bus. Um, instead of just sending it via Synergy, which is what we did um, while we had our Wi-Fi connection, I can export this via Synergy Sports Tech package file. If I click OK, what this is doing, and let me just go back out to my desktop. This edit has been saved to my desktop. So at this point, I would just put this onto an external hard drive. And then if our head coach or another assistant wants to go in and further edit or just view what we've captured and cut up, they would literally just double click on this file that's been put onto their desktop. Um, and it'll open right up into the Synergy editor on their computer um, to whatever work you have done uh, previously. Okay, let me see. You got time for one more real quick. 
So if, can I tag when I capture my own film or can I tag Synergy film? Um, you, can tag, you, can, you can actually tag both. So within here, these are obviously Synergy made clips. And if I move this back to our playlist view, you'll see right here, there's a tag column. So if I uh, come in here utilizing that tagging or that coding window that I've already set up, you can actually tag these clips and those tags will show up within that row um, on the Synergy made clips. So Peter, I, I might pass it back over to you. There is, although there's looks like there's a bunch of questions still sitting there. We'll we'll get a um, kind of a Q and A sheet, and we'll send out some direct answers to the questions that are posted that we don't have time to answer right now. Um, but if Peter, if you want to jump on and kind of take it from here with the fast scout portion of it, yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, Billy. All right, give me one sec here to get all set up. All right, you guys should be able to see my screen now. All right, does that look good to you, Billy? Yep, you're good. Awesome. All right, thanks again, Billy. So yeah, now we're going to jump in onto the fast scout side of things. As you guys can see, Synergy's done a lot of really awesome updates to their editor and their Max editor over time here. So we've been really pleased as as our partnership has progressed. So they've kept updating things on their end, and for us, we're going to keep updating things on our end as well. So for any of you that haven't seen Fast Scout, uh, when you sign in, this is what you'll see first. We're not going to go through this page in detail at all because we're going to be really focused on on video and especially Synergy video here. But when you sign in, you know, if I'm pretending to be on the Villanova staff here. I see all my own stats. You can look at your own schedule, your own roster, dive into all these cool splits. We're gonna have future webinars. We're planning on doing webinars really every Wednesday moving forward, where we'll dive into kind of these other things like stats and rosters and player pages and all these other newer things we have. Uh, but this is what you see when you log in. So let's jump right to the Scouts tab. There's three separate places that we have this Synergy integration that I'm gonna show you guys. The first is probably the most important here inside these actual scouting reports. So I'm gonna do what we call a self scout just cause I'm signed in as Villanova. But as you can see, I'm on opponent scouts now. So you can of course create scouts against any opponents that are coming up in the off season. We've seen a lot of teams, you know, creating self scouts more focused on themselves. Uh, so let's click on this synergy webinar uh, self scout I've built here. So this is Scout Builder itself. We kind of pitch it as Google Docs, but for basketball coaches, I won't have time to go through everything in here cause there, there's so much, but I'll really focus on video. We can see here on the top are these personnel tiles now with new shot charts. And on any personnel tile, you can of course totally customize the way you lay it out. And then most importantly, you can add video. So if I look here on the top left, I see this little video icon. I click this and I've already added one video to this personnel tile, but I can add a bunch more. If I have a video saved locally for my computer, I can always add it from there. Uh, but what we're really excited about now that we've had over this past season is the ability to automatically integrate those videos from Synergy. So I'm going to do as I click this, I'm looking at the exact same edits that Billy was just working on in his account. All of this updates in real time. You don't have to save anything. We're just linked right into Synergy's API, as we call it, and we just pull in everything. And so here's that Villanova Scout uh, video that or edit that Billy was working on. So I can click on that. And here pop in all of the uh, clips within that edit and all the things that you'd expect to come over do come over. I saw a question about uh, in and out points and trimming that comes in absolutely. And we will respect that within fast cut. If you have tags, you can filter on that. You can filter on result, filter by player, even by period or team. And so you can just pick and choose what you actually want to actually include into your fast cut report. So for example, maybe I want to pull in these three other Gillespie clips click done. If I wanted to, I could even go into another edit and add some more clips if I needed to, but I'm all set here. Click add three clips. And as you can see, they just immediately pop in. There's no downloading and re-uploading. There's no saving, no dealing with different windows. We're just linked straight into Synergy. And so once I click that, everything comes in. Your description will pop in automatically and you can type in extra notes if you'd want. And then you just click save here. And now that is saved to that tile. So what's the point of doing this, right? Obviously in, in Fast Scout, you can, you can print out your Scout, but you're not gonna have video on a printed paper, of course, but now we have the mobile app. So let me get my phone up and running here. So you should now see my phone on the left side of the screen. So I was looking at those opponent Scouts earlier. I'm gonna tap on this Self Scouts tab and here's that Synergy webinar Scout we're working on here on the web. So here's that Colin Gillespie tile. So I can just tap on him. Now I'm seeing all the stats in the same order. And again, all of this is totally customizable. What stats you see in splits and whatever order you want. All the notes I put in, that pretty shot chart underneath, and then best of all that video. And I can just start playing it back just in line and everything just loads immediately automatically just like that. 
So super simple, super easy way to just get clips down to your players, attach them to scouting reports. Um, let me just scroll through this scout here on the web to give you guys more of a sense of all the different things we can do. And again, synergy clips can be added to anything. Personnel tiles might be the, the single most common thing. But as I scroll through here, you know, we have things like box scores, kind of our version of the four factors, more advanced things like clutch stats and lineup stats. And again, we're going to have other webinars where we go through all this in more detail and everything's totally customizable here. Here's those shot charts again. So common thing we've been seeing is, you know, create a shot chart, pull in some synergy shots of Sadiq, you know, shooting where he's hot or cold from the floor on, sending those down to the phone and even fast drop play diagrams, which we'll talk about more here in a little bit. So tons of opportunity here to, you know, customize your scout, add different things. And with that synergy integration, it really just uh, cleans up all those extra steps that coaches used to have to take by saving, re-uploading, downloading, all that nonsense. The reason we're doing this with synergy is, is to save you guys time. Time is obviously your most precious resource. Um, and we know we can save you guys a lot of time with that direct synergy integration. So I'm going to pause for a second. We had a, a bunch of questions come in. So let me take a look at this. All right. Will all of the video play continuously or do I have to clip or do I have to click each play each clip to play? Great question. Let me actually demo that live for you guys how that works. So we have a nice little feature there. So let me get my phone back up here on the left. Load it up. So this Gillespie one, here's the rest of those clips that I added. And the great thing is you can watch them individually like I showed you guys before and that's fine. That'll work great. But if you have a bunch of short clips, the better way to do it is to click play all. And what this will do is just play the whole first clip. I'm going to tilt my phone sideways so it looks a little bit better for you guys. In fast cut, you can even go fast, slow mo, or fast mo. You can play this at normal speed. I'll scrub through it so we don't have to watch the whole thing. And then the second this first video ends, the second video just begins. So that's what that play all button does. It really puts them all in a playlist, and you can just play them all back to back just like that. Great question there. All right, let me scroll through here in a little bit. Yeah, another great thing to point out here, the app works on all phones, Android and iOS working great, and even on iPad. Uh, we've had a bunch of teams, including the, the LA Lakers have been using the iPad a lot this year. It's been really cool to see. So it's working great on the iPad as well, as well as Android. And then another good question, is there an offline mode on the phone to view all videos without internet? Yes, absolutely. So you have a couple options here. On any given video, you'll see a little download icon here at the top right. So if I just wanna download this specific video, I can just click on that and that'll download that specific video. But if I wanna download all the videos for an entire scout, I can go back to this page and tap on this button at the top right and you'll see this turns a little circle and that'll just download all the videos inside my entire scout. So if you guys know you're gonna be on a plane, won't have service or Wi-Fi or whatever, best thing to do just to download all the videos is click that button there at the top and then all those videos will be downloaded. Don't need any Wi-Fi or service. All right, won't be able to get to everything here, but we're, we're writing down all these questions and we'll make sure to, to connect with you guys individually for anything I'm, I'm not getting to. All right, so that's inside of a scout, but then there's other places again where you can uh, add video. First, I wanna show you one other cool thing here in Fast Scout called presenter mode. So when I click this button up here at the top, I stay inside the scouting report we've been looking at, but now I'm viewing it kind of more in like a PowerPoint mode where I'm viewing one tile at a time. So first we start out with just a nice title slide, but then I can just click on Gillespie and then see all those stats, notes, shot charts, image, info that I pulled in all showing up automatically here. The best of all, I can just jump right to the video. So if I click on this video, now I'm watching this back in full screen and we even have keyboard shortcuts that coaches are used to that they you know, use in other programs. Clicking tab, for example, just jumps between all the different tiles. Space bar is play and pause. The arrows go slow-mo and fast-mo on the video. So just another way to actually, you know, watch the video with your team, especially useful in the film room. But if you want, players can even get access to this on the web. You have to grant them access, but they can view the scout in this mode as well and go through the whole scout like this, again, with the Synergy video attached. All right, so let's jump out of that. Click on done. So that was, you know, adding Synergy videos inside of a scout itself. Uh, just to show you guys how to actually send any of this content down to the phone, you have total choice over who sees what. Click this three dots menu here, click on mobile access. And here, these are just some of my coworkers here, but we can fill this with, you know, with your list of coaches and players. You can deselect everyone, select everyone. If you just want to send this to the coaches, which we see sometimes you can do that, or you can just send it to the players. You have total choice 
pick and choose who you want to send it to. The second I click save there, it even sends a push notification to everyone's phone or iPad for that matter, that you have a new scout or video available and they can just tap on that and open right into that scouting report with the attached video. All right, let's jump to the plays tab. So another really common workflow, of course here at Fast Model, all you guys know is for fast draw. The great news here is we're now uh, integrating all your fast draw plays here onto the web inside of this plays tab of Fast Scout. So this will match exactly what you have in Fast Draw. Every time you click Fast Share on Fast Draw, it's saving to our cloud and it'll show up on this page. So as you add new plays or playbooks, everything will stay in sync here. Has all the things you're used to, you know, being able to sort by different things, filter by these important metadata up here. And then of course I can click on a play, see the diagram on the right. And then best of all, the point of this, add video either from your computer or again from Synergy. So I can click here add from Synergy, jump back into that Villanova scout, but you might have you know, a different edit for some of the play diagrams you wanna pull in. Click on a couple new videos, add them, and then boom, they just pop in immediately. So this is really smooth too. We've seen a lot of coaches doing this, especially in the off season, creating more of kind of the digital virtual playbook for their players. So let me jump, jump back to the phone. So at the bottom, we have four tabs. I'm jumping now to this plays tab, you can see. And then if I just refresh here, click on that top play, up will pop up the play diagram and I can scroll through it and then view those videos that I just attached underneath with all the same functionality again with that play all, download, slow-mo, fast-mo, all of that works great wherever the videos are inside of FastCat. All right, I know I'm flying through pretty quick here, so let me pause again. I think some more questions have come in, so let me take a look. So yeah, if you cut clips in Synergy, if you create in and out points, only those in and out points will, will show up in FastGuy. And it'll automatically start playing at the end point and stop playing at the out point. Then yeah, if you have multiple coaches um, using FastDraw and you click FastShare, um, if you're all on the same account, you will all see everyone's uh, plays here on the web. And then for that matter, what you send down to the phone, just like on the scouts, you can click here. And again, pick and choose what plays you want to go to which people. So again, only the people you've granted access to a specific play will see that there on the phone. All right, on that front, let's talk about playbooks really quick. So most of you are probably fast draw users familiar with this, but obviously you can kind of collate these play diagrams into these more PDF style playbooks. So this is an example of what one can look like with a nice big table of contents, 33 pages here. Again, pulling in all of these different play diagrams formatted however you want. And then here you can add videos as well. So I click, you know, add video one more time, add a couple more here, click done. And they pop right in again instantly. That, that's the whole point of this again is to save you guys time. Jump to my playbooks tab here. There's my zone offense playbook. Sorry, let me jump to my phone. So now I'm down here on this playbooks tab, sent this one to the phone. I can see those videos attached to the playbook and then I can tap on the playbook itself to kind of be in, in a full screen view of that playbook just as a PDF viewer here on my phone. All right, I'll pause once more for questions and we'll, we'll finish up here on the Fast Scout side. Yeah, so more to come with, with some of the other integrations with Synergy, things like uh, the text overlays that coaches put on them or the title slides, we're actively working on that with Synergy. Um, so again, this is really just the beginning of our integration. You guys have seen a lot, lot of good stuff obviously today. I said this at the start, we've had over 200,000 clips uh, integrated into FastScout from Synergy. So this has been wildly effective. Uh, we've gotten really great feedback. So we're just gonna keep pushing on this, keep continuing, you know, pulling in all those extra things as Synergy adds more features with the overlays and all that. All that sh should work here in FastScout moving forward. All right, let's jump to, to the videos tab. Too many questions here, I, I, can't, I can't quite get to everything. Thank you all so much for hanging in. We will make sure to, uh, to connect with any of you individually if we're not able to get to your question. But I wanna jump to the final tab here, which is the videos tab. So this videos tab is just, again, all about video. It's the quickest way to get video down to your player. So sometimes you have some video that is not necessarily about a scout, it's not about an upcoming team, or you don't need inside of a self scout, or it's not, you know, a video needs to be attached to a play diagram or a playbook. It could just be an off-season workout or, or whatever, anything miscellaneous here. Again, you can just click add video from your computer or from Synergy. 
They pop in here on the left. You can click any individual video to again send that. We also have this mobile access button where you can select multiple videos at once to send down to the phone. And then the second you do that, jump back to my phone here, scroll back a screen, go to videos. Now you're seeing again, all those videos in the exact same order that are on the web here on the phone. We even have search and sort functionality. I can click up here and search for any video or sort by different things just to give extra customization there on the phone. And just like you'd expect, these videos just play back in real time, just like that. So we've been really happy with, with our integration with Synergy. They've been a great partner. And again, we're just gonna keep accelerating on this because we've had such great usage and such great feedback. Um, we're doing this to save you guys time. We know uh, there's other software out there a lot of coaches have used and it's finicky, you know, moving video around everything you want to end up in FastCal, but it's hard to download, re-upload, save and all that. So that, that's why we're doing this with Synergy and with all their, you know, recent updates to the Max Editor and the new stuff coming out this summer, we think it can really solve kind of your main video workflow needs and then obviously pull in everything into FastCal that you want and sending it to your players on, on our nice mobile apps. Um, we've been really happy again with the usage this year from the NBA, D1, D2, D3, we're even, you know, expanding international now. Um, so yeah, so thank you all so much for, for coming today. Um, feel free to, uh, to reach out to us with any questions, comments, concerns. This is really the best time of year to, to hear feedback. We always love to hear it, but you know, with, with the off season we're in now, it gives us an extra roadmap here to, to build anything else to make sure we're, we're really ready for prime time, uh, come here in the fall. Uh, but again, thank you all so much for your time. Uh, we really appreciate it and, and more to come. Look out uh, on Twitter and we'll be sending emails out in the future for, for, for future webinars where we'll dive deeper both into the Synergy integration and other things here into FastCout.